What's up, guys? Subu Zero Arc here for a spooky VOD review. Uh, happy, happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, you thought you thought I was gonna miss out on the. I even got the bat set up. Checked it. I look. I look at these. Look at these beautiful PNGs that I got set up. I, I do kind of have to like duck and weave around them, but hey, that's pretty good. Um, I had to give you guys a vod for uh for Halloween. So here I am. I'm sorry. I just came back from the from the gym. So yeah, you know, ob obviously you know you know how I am. You know I'm always. And if you guys didn't see the the outfit, well then go back to the other vod that I uh, did because that was a, a better one for you know I actually got up and showed you guys the the full body. So uh, so yeah, and you know what else would be spooky is if you guys didn't download Monopoly Go and get entered into a free coaching session. QR code right there. Scan it five four three two one okay yeah that's that's all i'm giving you i i just want to shout it out in case anybody you know was still not aware uh that you can potentially get a free coaching session for playing a game pretty cool we played it uh yesterday on stream it was pretty fun all right uh kiyun's spot this a game so let's take an objective look here honestly if callista was still in the metal the meta gargoyle guinsu slam for callista looks mm, chef's kiss um outside of that I don't know, you could really go anything from here. I think you, this is a look at augment situation because you could play a D from here. You could go like Spark, probably not Spark Shiv, um, but you know, you could go Spark and, and something else. I guess Spark's a little awkward. I have to be like Ship Crown Guard and then hold this or Ship Gargoyle and then hold Rod. Um, but then you could also play AD with something like Renan's Vow. Um, you know, these these items can. We, we already have the Wukong, so we'd love to play Jinx if we could, um, but we'll see here. Band of Thieves, uh, Ascending uh, Augments, whatever, whatever this thing's, Latent Forge, uh, one, two, three. Um, I guess I feel like I'm actually looking at maybe a just a one, two, three here for direction. Uh, Band of Thieves is good. I just don't have anyone that I'm that hyped to throw it onto. You can throw it onto Wukong for now, I guess, uh, and then move it somewhere else. Like if you were to play Jinx, move it to like uh, an Olaf later. I mean, it is a broken augment in general. Uh, this uh this band of thieves augment it's very very good um so yeah and it looks like Yoon's just gonna say you know what i'm gonna angle towards this he is not going to end up band of thieves in uh the wukong because we do have these ad or these tank items that he wants to make so he's just gonna make the gargoyle here wow and then just slam the the tg here i guess the nice thing about this is you do get to um you do get to speed up your stacking of Sugarcraft, and he's going to make the Gwinsu here. So we are definitely, hey, the uh, the original slams that I was talking about, the Gwinsu Gargoyle, and we can kind of do this thing that people did a lot um, on the patch that, that Fairy was uh, quite good, where we can flex between Fairy and we can flex... Uh, jinx as well so if we hit a lot of jinxes and stuff like that then we can play towards jinx if we don't then we can just play a fairy game you know or if we hire you know if we get a random callista we could play towards fairy so uh I, I like this style of playing and yeah i mean we do have a lot of components in for sugarcraft so we're going to stack that quite quickly we're also holding on to all of these hunters here because we would love to throw a quinsu onto one of them instead of this random soraka here but hey i mean soraka one she's doing work we're also gonna hold on to the zillion because he is going to go on the board later if we do end up playing jinx so we'll uh we'll see here uh there's the namzi too that's uh this is kind of like a decently big decision point here of what kind of board we want to play. Because we could play Namzi Twitch Shivana here. We just wouldn't get the uh, the Gwinsu stacking up. He's looking like he's maybe, yeah, he's just going to move the TG over to, to Namzi here and just play Namzi on this board with the two Sugarcraft because he really wants to get the Sugarcraft stacking in. Uh, we're also fighting Zugrug here with a level five board Kogma too. I mean, we are never beating that. They're also Gwinsu IE, which is a little scary though. I mean, maybe they're just going to play Kogma. I don't know or whatever. We'll see. Uh, Optical for the pre-level here just because we got a little bit of gold left over. Okay, so we have tier open here. We can either go for something like a bow uh, to look for better Jinx items. We could just finish that tier off with some like redemption it is a three cost uh belt uh oh yeah kyun was already second pick so we already took his item what do, what do we go for here um I, I thought he was healthier than this honestly he just takes the bow yeah for uh for another bow for jinx down the line makes sense this jinx unit she can use infinite bows so i'm uh, i'm certainly down for that and i assume we're just gonna get hunter into this board uh make our units a little bigger and we gotta sell something here i'm actually i'm so curious i'm surprised that he it seems like he's really valuing like holding on to these extra sugar craft units for a potential like four sugar which is so wild because i think i mean especially actually after the changes to two sugar where you get three um sugar per uh per component it's actually it feels so much worse in my opinion to jump up to four sugar because you're only getting four sugar at least you get like the stats bonus but i wouldn't be surprised yeah he's actually gonna sell the zillion here wow and just hold into these sugar craft units for maybe a four sugar craft mid game interesting um now we have the Twitch too, so we're, we're really there on the, the Hunter's two-star. It's just so wild to me that we have this Gwinsu stuck on this Soraka still, but we used our remover already. I guess we could sell her if we really want to move it. I'm a little surprised also that Kyun doesn't want to go for that, just to move the Gwinsu over to someone like Twitch who 
I, I think would be a better holder of it, but maybe, I don't know. I mean, there's there's perhaps an idea that Soraka is like an insane amount of utility on this board by healing up this Wukong who already is really, really tanky with the Gargoyle. Maybe, maybe that's uh, that's what he's thinking. I don't uh, know, but uh, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Um, in any case, Rumble's here. Once again, still not really committed to playing Jinx. It certainly seems like that's what Kuhn wants to play from this spot, but not committed by any means. If we get a random Callista in a shop, uh, we would just have to find like a Lilia at that point. There's the belt, which is fantastic. This can just be redemption and probably just gonna make a Last Whisper as well. Uh, it's actually a, a good question on if you decide to make the Last Whisper or not, because it's a, it's, it's a, the problem with Last Whisper is it uses two really, really good components in this comp. The good thing about Last Whisper uh, is that it's an item that you can slam. Um, I'm really curious to see. I think actually maybe you don't slam it. He's looking to Hodge slam even just to kill it. Yeah, to kill the tier. I, I mean, actually, I think I like this a lot better because yeah, Last Whisper, it tends to not do very well on Jinx anymore just because of the fact that she already ignores armor when her ability is active. Um, so it's it doesn't really matter that much that you uh, you get the armor shred on your board. Uh, and this bow is such a good component. It can be another Gwinsu. It can be Renan's. Like, it can be a GS even. It can be so many good things. Um, all right, it's not going to be Keepers. Probably not Comet Bandages either. Um, Clover Accelerator, I mean, it's attack speed in this comp. I think people have looked at the stats before and it's not amazing in this comp, but whatever. Portal Forge actually, like, I, I feel like there are a decent number of, like, the tank ones can be very, very solid on Wukong. I don't know if there's anything that's actually that crazy on Jinx. Let's do a quick stats check, why not? Um, cause you know, you can, you can go fish bones for the, the Jinx fish bones, like, lower synergy. Um, but I don't actually know, uh, if, uh, if there's anything that, uh, that crazy. Yeah, I mean, statistically... These don't look great. Wit's End is the best performing one, really, aside from like Gold Collector, but I don't think you really want a 3-2 Gold Collector. I think this is more like taking early Gold Collector. Um, I guess RFC gives like tax beans, uh, mittens. It's uh, it's like surprisingly not that great. I think if you take this, you're really looking for like the tanky ones. It's just like, I don't know the Clockwork Accelerator is that great. I guess we can also just look at Jinx 3, throw Wupong into the planner here, and you can, you can see all of these augments, but let's just look at Portable. And then um, what's the other one that I'm looking at here? Clockwork Accelerator. I'm, I'm curious how Clockwork does. Stats say, I mean, stats say Portable is a little bit better uh, with a Jinx 3 and a Wukong on your board. Um, obviously we don't know if we're gonna get their Heroic Crab Bag as well, but I mean, we don't actually have, where's, where's Heroic in here? Because we do already have the Wukong. Ugh, it looks so bad in the stats, actually. But, you know, the games where you take Heroic are not games that you're doing that well. Uh, all right, Tricksters, Hullcrusher, Infinity Force, Mana Zane. I mean, it's never Mana Zane. It's probably never Tricksters. Hullcrusher seems fine onto Wukong here. Get a bunch of extra tank stats. Uh, we do also have this... Uh, we have a damage item open, but we don't have a tank item open here. So this actually is kind of nice because we're not really guaranteed to get to a third tank item on uh, on Wukong, but this guarantees we get there. Also, you want to solo frontline the Wukong. So, you know, it's it's very easy to get Hullcrusher value. It's not like you're trying to put him next to a bunch of frontliners because this comp only has uh, one frontliner and his name is Wukong. So this looks good. It does... It's starting to feel more and more, though, like Hyun is committing himself to this comp uh, and just saying, I'm going to play Jinx from this spot with only one Wukong and zero Jinxes so far. But he is at least getting all of these stacks on the uh, the Sugarcraft. Just going to move items over to, to Bard 2 here. I think this makes perfect sense. Um, and he's even just going to level this round. Okay, like, you can wait the round to, to level here, but, I mean, he's he's saying, I'm still going to make 30 gold here. Why not just level in this spot? It's not going to make a huge difference in my econ. And, you know, if this wins me a fight, it's certainly worth it. So, I mean, I think this makes sense. All right. Bow open going into Carousel here. Still no Jinxes, but I think at this point, you know, we, we haven't held a lot. Of, I mean, I wonder if we ever, like, if you if you could get this Callisto off Carousel, we're probably not able to get it, but if you could, if you would play it. Uh, I have to imagine you just take Cloak here for Renan. Ooh, wow. He's going to take the Olaf. I mean, Olaf, a great unit. I'm really surprised he didn't take Cloak for Renan's here. I feel like Renan's is so, so good. There's the Jinx also. Finally, 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 we get to it. Um, and we can play the Four Sugarcraft here just to stack up a bit more. Uh, we could even just play the Olaf right now over the, the Namzi here. I kind of like that. The only downside, though, now that I'm thinking more about this. Yeah, actually, I like this way better. Uh, just the the 400 instead of, because like, yeah, Four Sugar, yeah, like, I, like I was talking about earlier, I don't think it really does anything. Um, but we have this TG now, and we can't really put it on the Olaf because we made Hodge for Olaf. So where is this TG going? I guess it's going on Bard, um, who is, I mean, we have a Bard too at least, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, it's its a little bit awkward actually. Ooh, that is a shop. That is a shop, a Wukong Jinx shop. So now we're feeling a lot better. There's a few people. Yeah, there's that guy playing uh, Mages who's definitely rerolling three costs. So that person's going to thin the pool a bit. He's doing a big scout here just to make sure just at the last second, you know, 
Uh, we want to, we're, we're basically committed at this point because we haven't really held any of the other units, but before he starts like rolling on seven, he wants to make sure that he's not like secretly contested. Somebody didn't like pivot into the comp, uh, which is always a good thing to do when you're playing reroll in TFT is just make sure. I definitely, as a, as a new TFT player, and even sometimes as an experienced TFT player, I would have games where, you know, I would just look up and, uh, and realize in the middle of the game that I was contested because I just didn't scout at all. And I was like, uh, you know, that tends to not be very good for business. Um, all right, he's gonna use the remover here to move items over to Jinx and to the Olaf here. Makes a lot of sense, and we're just hoping that we can build something strong out of this boat. That's a Wukong too, but it's not the one that we have on the board, actually. This is really annoying, because, I mean, I guess we can just use the remover. Yeah, it's it's not the end of the world. Edge of Night Slam as well. This is, this is wild. I mean, yeah, it's a better item than uh, GS is. This allows us to greed a little bit longer for, like, a really, really good Jinx item. But this is crazy that we're, we have barely any items on uh, on our Jinx. That's, uh, that's wild. Okay. Uh, fight a Cassid in three here, who uh, basically teleports to our backline. I don't know how he got to our back. I, did they wrap? Let's, let's go back and look at this real quick. Because um, may, maybe it was just a wrap fight. It wasn't like an assassin Cassid or anything. I mean, this positioning is actually pretty bad. Like, this positioning is basically just saying, please wrap on me. I'm not really sure why he positioned like that, but... Uh, but all right, I mean, uh, it's it's okay. We, we're still 63 HP, not the end of the world. But yeah, the positioning was uh, was a bit strange there. But yeah, I mean, going into Last Dogment here, there's a lot of good stuff that we can still get. Hunting Frenzy, Hunter plus one. Yeah, I mean, Hunter plus one looks great here. It's a Hunter Emblem uh, and it's a Renance for Jinx. I mean, I feel like that's it might be the best possible. It probably is the best possible uh, thing that you can get here. And now we can just play six Hunter on this board. This looks great. Um, gonna roll on seven. Jinx two is all you really need to be stable here. And I think we can sit on this board and we're going to be completely fine. The the thing to point out, actually, that was kind of interesting this game is that, like, we're we're actually a little... We're, we were quite poor this game. Like, being level 750 here um, is not great. Uh, but, I mean, we, we held a lot of units. One of the big things, when you make an upgrade like this bard too, it tends to mean that you're going to be poor throughout the game. And, oh my god, we get sniped by the... By the by the uh, by the zigs as well. This is actually such a bad loss for Keon because this should be like uh, the point of the game. Yeah, he's gonna sit up in his chair. This should be the point of the game where you're actually really strong. Um, like you should be winning a decent number of these fights just because you're two star three costs and other people, um, you know, can't really hit their entire board. Um, important to note here that Kuhn is not interested at all in going for Bard 3. I think this is something that I've seen a lot. And ooh, the last roll there to hit the Olaf 2 is actually huge. Um, I mean, it makes sense. He can still roll and still make 40 here as long as he wins this fight. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of people, um, just, uh, like, w would potentially go for, for like, a Bard 3. And, and something that I've noticed that a lot of good players do is they just say, you know what, I don't care about the Bard 3. In rural comps like this, sometimes you have to, to figure out what unit it actually makes sense to to build, to, to buy. Um, and we're never really going to get to bard items this game where we still need one more component for Jinx here. Renan's would be fantastic. Another Gwinsu would be uh, fantastic as well. Uh, I wonder what you go for, actually. I think you just go for double Renan's, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. I, I like double Renan's here. Only downside is we don't have uh, heal cut, right? Uh, yeah, we don't, like I, like I was talking about earlier, we don't really need the... Um, the armor shred as much in this comp, um, but getting a heal cut would be kind of nice, but I don't know. Renan's, Renan's, Gwinsu. This is... This is like potentially bis bis uh, on uh, on Jinx. She just the uh, Renan's. I feel like is such a standout item on her just because of the fact that she's auto attacking so frequently. It allows her to like some fights like this. You'll end up getting stuck on a giant tank like this Vex. Uh, but with Renan's, you can just ignore the Vex and look at this. We're just one tapping the back line here. We got through the Vex anyway. But look, we got a little bit of damage onto the the Vagar, and the Olaf jumps in and cleans it up. So like it works really really well. I feel like Q in this game played really well around his items. He he was pretty greedy honestly, and he got uh, he got rewarded for it really really hard this game. Roll a dice, get a little bit of gold here. There's another Wukong too six Wukongs at this point. Only four Jinxes is a little scary because you want to be hitting pretty soon. Though also, look at these sugar craft stacks. 525, man. Like getting that early sugar in and with the uh, with the Thief's Gloves uh, it was actually was was crazy. I mean, you know, from the perspective of playing the sugar craft comp, I think this Thief's Gloves uh, has done insane work just because it allowed us to stack sugar way, way quicker early game. Get those stacks. Uh, yeah, you get that, that damage uh, earlier and also potentially, you know, get to these like items in the, the bigger cash outs uh, way sooner. Because yeah, five 85 already holy all right rolling a bit here once again skipping those bards we should honestly take bard out of the uh the planner because he's just confusing us holding on to the zillion because that is the ideal next level here um we do normally you would play zillion on this board but we have to play an extra hunter because we want to play six hunter you know so sad um last item here you'd love um you'd love heal cut but you can't get it so i guess you just make lw and and like it's fine um i guess you could go if you really want to go for like GS or something on Olaf because you really don't care that much about. Uh, wow, yeah, he's actually going to... Kuhn does not care at all about having armor shred in this comp. I mean, 
it's a little surprising to me the gs over the uh the armor shred just because like obviously olaf deals physical damage and jinx when she's not casting is dealing uh physical damage and not ignoring any armor and she also she only ignores 50 percent armor it's not like she ignores 100 percent so i'm a little surprised uh, over the call but i mean gs is a very very solid item uh on to, to olaf and you know it'll just help your jinx get through everything so yeah all right there's the cash out there another wukong leadership here Okay, he, he actually used the remover to guarantee that it doesn't go into the Namzi here and gets it into the Olaf, which is pretty good. And he gets to move the remover over. Really, really close to hitting everything here. So we are just going to send it. We do hit the Wukong through, which is really big. And then just throw Tyrone to, to Bard here, waiting for our next cash out. Because yeah, we already got to like the first level of cash out, which is just, man, two sugar is so nice now. It's it's wild. Uh, this uh, this Vagar putting up a good fight, but yeah, just not going to be able to get through our board. I mean, I think at this point you slow roll every round to like 20 gold. If you, uh, if you find a Jinx, you absolutely dip deeper than that. Um, you could even maybe dip uh, like down to 10 every single round. I don't think you want to dip much deeper than that, but he's going to sit at 20 here. He's confident enough in his board, which, I mean, we'll see. Uh, there, there are some scary boards out there, so we'll, we'll see how this, uh, this board does because it's, yeah, I mean... Okay, good positioning for now versus the uh, versus the Ziggs. The Ziggs is going to start targeting the Jinx now, but I think we've bought enough time. Oh my god, yeah, great swap from Kuhn. Because if we had lost that fight, uh, that fight could be so many placements, actually. Getting onto the left side there is really, really good. Um, so we're we're done, basically, with all of our uh, meaningful items. We would still love that heal cup. We can't get it. We just have to take, like, Shoujin for Bard, right? For, what's he looking at? Yeah, I, I think he ends up... You have to just go Shoujin Bard here. It's not bad. Getting an early cast means that you get that extra, um, you know, the enemy team takes more damage when uh, Bard applies ability to them. So it's not bad. So, yeah, and he's, you know, it's not like we have Bard 3 on this board, but Bard 2 in his own right is, is a decent unit. So, yeah, I mean, a, a good spot now with the Jinx 3 as well that we found there. I mean, it's... It's it's too easy, man. We're fighting this board. Ooh, I'm I'm curious to see this fight because this board that we were fighting is really, really strong, but our board is really solid as well. It's just a smolder too. Oh my god, can we I, I think we're oh, it's actually so close, but I don't know that Olaf can beat it. Yeah, I mean that's an insane board from a Zugrug there. So I don't think you can really expect to win that salvager here. I don't think it does much. I think our items are near perfect. I think we should be very happy with these. I think you just roll for a, a combat charm here. Gold dummy is is pretty t don't put it next to the hull crusher okay nice um but uh yeah I, I like this just all the way over there all good Ooh, okay th this guy uh, the uh the multi-striker rear we don't have the heel cut versus them which is a little scary but man jinx just tears through this entire board this position was great oh okay that was actually insanely close uh i i was i thought kyun was just straight up winning that fight and then it started looking really really scary um perfectly perfectly scary for a halloween mod review <laughs> um what does this guy keep doing? Just oh, he's he's looking at like seven TV emotes or something. We got the zillion here for the level up here. Uh, items wise, we're looking for I guess a final bard item or even like a zillion items. Not bad. Um, again, a random effect is fine. I think you just level for the zillion. Take that. Happy with that. Gold is pretty bad actually. You you would prefer comet here. I guess you could take a TG if you really want to. I don't know what is it. Okay, he's actually gonna go for the LW now, which is kind of funny. Um, at this point, he's like, you know what? LW, uh, you know, I besmirched you earlier to get to the GS because I like the GS a lot, but I would, you know, when when the option is a JG for my bard or an LW, I'm going to go for the LW, which makes sense. Uh, also, this was, wow, 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 that was such a close fight. Once again, I think the Arjinx was in the corner. I think she, she well, actually, she wasn't really in the corner at all. Okay, he's a beast. Ooh, static shift. Okay, not bad. It's it's a it's an item, and the more items that we, that we get, the uh, the stronger that our board is. Yeah, you have to frontline some units here. Just need to make sure that we're not griefing the hull crusher value here. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's actually pretty smart here to just frontline this. And ooh, moving items to the Kogma. I love this. LW is really really solid onto him. Uh, he applies it very well. The Shojin's great onto him. Yeah, I, I like this move a lot actually. Just move these items to the Kogma. He's also a six hunter Kogma. This is great. Yeah, I mean top three locked in, almost top two. We'll see. There's the zillion two. Leadership is so bad at this point in the game. Radiant Eyes is great. I ooh, he's gonna use this. This is great. To uh he, he can use the 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 remover here to make it so that it's basically guaranteed that it's gonna go into Jinx or Wukong here. I really like how he did that. Uh just guaranteeing that it's gonna go onto the best units. Yeah, that was that was a really, really nice usage of the golden remover. That's some of the stuff that you can do when you have uh when you have charms with the, the golden remover. And yeah, we're just gonna stomp Depay here. This this Rico person's really low as well. We just need a decent charm here. We need to deny anything from them. Looks like they don't have anything crazy that they can get here. We're just gonna grab this Briar here uh, with an adaptive helm. We can throw this onto probably like Zillion and just roll down for a good combat charm here. Um, 
Suspicious trench coat. Oh, suspicious trench coat cheese is so good. Sadly, we don't have another frontliner to put it on here, but even just guaranteeing that we get a trench coat onto uh, this Olaf is fantastic here. So, oh man, it's so, so sick seeing the uh, all the little cheeses that you can do with charms. Also, we swap our Jinx to 100% to be in the middle. She's not getting hit by the zigs at all. And yeah, it looks like an easy dub for Kiyun. A very, very, whoops, sorry. A very fun game to watch piloting uh, a really, really strong comp. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, shout out Monopoly Go one more time. Check it out. We we only got a few more days left on the, the sponsorship. Um, and uh, and happy Halloween, everybody. Hope you have a good uh, a good Halloween. Hope you hope you eat some nice candies and uh, maybe maybe watch a, a scary movie or something. Hope you guys have a, a good Halloween. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys. Uh, in, in a much less scary world in November. All right, goodbye.